happier topic this time. I want to talk about how to get yourself an agent. We talked about the SAG agencies last time. Well, how do you get one of those? How do you get represented by someone? Well, it's uh, pretty easy in theory and pretty hard because you actually have to put work in. So the first way to get an agent is to get yourself out there. What I mean by that is look for the websites that you can get onto for free that will send you auditions. There's, there's tons of these websites out there. And they'll send you auditions for things that usually don't pay, but that's okay. That's how you get your experience as an actor. So you're going to receive the audition. It's going to say, I need a male, 25 years old. Perfect. That's me. So you go to the audition. It's a student film. You don't get paid, but you get experience. So now you've been on set. You get to put a movie on your resume. You want to stack up about three or four or five of those movies. You want to get yourself into some plays, and then you want to get some training by one of the facilities that the SAG agencies in your town recommend. So you get some training and you have a resume that's stacked up and then you go through the audition process that every SAG agent has because they don't just accept everybody, they only accept the people who are really talented and serious about their craft. So you get your training, you go out, you land some parts, so you have a resume to show them and that's how you get your foot in the door of an agency. Most of the really great agencies may not accept you the first time around, that's okay. It's really important that you get your face in front of them and uh, you get your experience and then you'll be in the door and hopefully by the second, third time of resilience, you're going to land an agent. So good luck. We we'll hope to see you in the studio soon and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Now is the time to seize the day.